If you've ever replaced a speaker surround or cone and noticed your sound isn't the same as before, this is probably why. Changing them can drastically affect the speaker's performance, and if it's done incorrectly, it can ruin your sound. In this video, we'll explain why this happens. Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you have a damaged speaker diaphragm that you want to replace, there are a few important factors to consider. In this video, we'll explore how replacing a bad diaphragm, surround, or spider can affect a speaker's behavior and specifications. Here, we have a 5-inch woofer in the simulation process. The cone material is coated paper, which is a commonly used material in real-world speakers. The default cone thickness is 0 0.2 millimeters, but as you may know, manufacturers both well-known and lesser-known offer cones in various thicknesses. The first thing to note is that increasing the thickness of a cone also increases its weight, assuming the material remains the same. For example, if we change the cone thickness to 0.6 millimeters, the frequency response curve will shift downward, showing a noticeable reduction in sensitivity. Now, let's try an aluminum cone with the same 0.6 millimeters thickness. Due to its significantly higher weight, the frequency response drops even further, which can create serious issues. In a two-way speaker system, this reduction can lead to an imbalance with the tweeter. In a three-way system, if this driver is used as a woofer, it may become too quiet compared to the other drivers, making it difficult to hear properly. One possible solution is to use a more delicate and lightweight cone to compensate for the drop in SPL. When we reduce the thickness to 0.15 millimeters, the drop in SPL is more acceptable, especially if you don't want to modify the crossover in your two-way or three-way speaker. However, keep in mind that finding a cone with this specific thickness isn't always easy. Now, let's change the surround material. The default thickness is 0.4 millimeters, And if we increase it to 0.8 millimeters while keeping the other properties the same, the impact on performance may be negligible. However, surrounds come in different stiffness levels, which can significantly affect the speaker's behavior. As I mentioned in previous videos, Young's modulus is a key indicator of material stiffness. If we change the stiffness of the surround, The low frequency response is clearly affected and the driver's specifications will change. We'll cover speaker parameters in more detail in an upcoming video, but for now, just remember that a low CMS value indicates a stiffer suspension, which limits cone movement. Additionally, high QMS and QES values are generally not desirable. Finally, let's adjust the stiffness of the spider. However, in real-world applications, the surround and diaphragm material have a much greater impact and should be the main focus when modifying a speaker. As you can see, this causes a slight change in the response. In summary, Changing the surround and spider to a stiffer material may result in the loss of some energy and dynamics, making the reproduction of percussive sounds like drums feel less natural. Reducing the diaphragm's free movement gives the oscillation amplitude becomes more limited which may reduce the details of drum impacts. Increasing the system's resonance frequency gives bass reproduction may be affected, making the natural rumble feel less prominent. Increasing QMS and changing CMS gives these changes can alter the speaker's response to fast transients. Therefore, if you have a high-quality and well-known speaker, 
you should source its parts directly from the manufacturer and avoid using unknown components. If you use a soft surround on a low quality speaker, the diaphragm may move to freely due to the lack of proper motor control. This can lead to several issues. Excessive diaphragm movement. Since the suspension is deflexible and the motor voice coil and magnet lacks control, the diaphragm may move erratically. Increased distortion at low frequencies. The diaphragm might exceed its linear range, causing distortion and unwanted resonance. Loss of bass precision without enough control. The bass response can become loose, muddy, and less defined. A soft surround works well when the motor design is strong, as it allows better low frequency extension and dynamic response. But on a weak motor, it results in uncontrolled movement and poor sound quality. Thanks for watching.